what it's about is really attracting good people and once you have done that then of course uh, you know if you have uh, the trust and the faith in them it makes it relatively simple to move yourself around. There are a number of things that you have to do in order to keep people uh, well, to attract them and keep them. Uh, obviously, you have to show them that, you know, you have the value and that, well, for me, actually, it's being sort of a grassroots kind of person. I'll sit along any of my staff and do any of the tasks that are there. It's not an issue at all. It's not what I generally do. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, so long as they can see that you have that same involvement or are willing to put yourself in that same position, I think that holds on to people. And then, of course, moving forward in that, um, being able to have them contribute new ideas and give them the leeway in order to make decisions and the autonomy to move forward in a direction that is helpful to the company. Um, and that's really important too because we've become so myopic with our own thoughts and uh, having those outside opinions are really critical for the growth of a company. Um, and holding on to them, I think that's about, for me it's about family and I talk to other people in management and lots of people don't think that at all. Uh, I share a lot with my staff. We're uh, together on any number of occasions, you know, through the summer, or Christmas, or whatever. And also, I still really do believe that remuneration is important. So, if the company is successful, then my people are rewarded accordingly, you know. So, I think that has an effect, you know, uh, and just the appreciation of who they are and what they do and their lives and their families. You know, as I indicated, you know, I was able to still hold on to the company or have the company grow and have my family. And so I have a real appreciation for younger people coming in and, you know, uh, accommodate their lifestyles and their children.